show Intel with a picture. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Intel where it will show a picture or an overview of the objectives in your mission. Alright, if we go up a little bit, you can see this is a pretty big base. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this base for our mission and we're going to infiltrate this base. So let's go to the 2D map and we're going to go set up the player for our mission. We're going to go down to this location and set up the player. What we're going to do is we're going to place down an unarmed rifleman. We're going to place him right about here and face him this direction. We're going to edit his loadout and we'll go to load. And I'm going to choose this loadout, which is more fitting for the terrain that we're on. And that's all we have to do for the player. Next, we're going to go to props. I'm going to type in table into the search box. And what we're going to choose is the camping table small. And we're going to place that right about here. And we're going to square it up a little bit. And that's good. All right, next, we're going to go down to things. And then down to electronics. And we're going to scroll down a little bit and choose a laptop open and we're going to place this guy on the table and square it up a little bit and then that's good right there all right so that's our mission yes nothing special but you're going to see what we're going to do so what we're going to do with this is we're going to save this i'm going to put it on livonia and we're going to name this intel underscore picture all right, that's our mission. What we're going to do next is we're going to go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to where it says open scenario folder. We're in our scenario folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a notepad document and I'm going to give you guys a code. You could either type this code or copy it from the pinned comment in the description of the video. Here's the code. I'm going to go one line down. We're going to start off with a left square bracket quote INIT end quote comma then space left square bracket again this then comma then space quote image name dot JPEG end quote and then comma and then space quote Intel name end quote and then two right square brackets and space call space bis underscore fnc underscore init capital l leaf let and then semicolon all right that's the code let's go over this code real quick and basically the only th two things you need to be concerned about is this here and this here image name is going to be the name of an image that we're going to create and once you get that image it's going to be a JPEG image and you're going to put it in place in between the quotes. Intel name is going to be the name that you'll see. I'll show you when we get to that and uh, that's basically it. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this code. Press Control C and we're going to go back in the mission and we're going to put this into the INIT box of the laptop. Back in the mission what we're going to do now is we're going to edit the laptop and in the INIT box make sure the cursor is blinking and then press control V and that will paste the code. So that's all we have to do for the moment. We actually have to do something else. We'll do that right now. We're going to save that and next what we need to do is we're going to create a picture and I'm going to show you how this works. So let's go to the 2D map and let's go back to our base where we started and I'm going to go right about here and zoom out and so basically the idea here is we're going to create an overview picture this is going to basically give you a map layout of the objectives in your mission so if this is the base that we're going to infiltrate then there's a couple ways that you could do this. So if you turn off the overlay, you press backspace, you could do it like this, where you take a screenshot of the base, where you zoom in, you can kind of get all the 
different buildings that you want to have as objectives like kind of like a real-time view or we can go to the 2d map which will be smaller and give us more areas so I'm gonna use the 2d map and we're gonna do something like that so we're gonna use this as our picture once you have your picture your screenshot that you want you press print screen so you press print screen and you'll see the address at the top where it's going to go so basically that will save into your arma 3 directory and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to my arma 3 directory and get this screenshot that we took all right we're in my arma 3 directory so what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to where you find the screenshot which is this right here i'm going to edit this screenshot and i'm going to open it up in paint it's not going to be anything fancy but it's basically just to show you what we're trying to do here. I'm going to open this in paint, and here is the picture of the base. We're going to choose red, and we're going to choose the text option. And we're going to start over here and basically label these locations. So this is going to be the radar station. This is going to be the generators. This is going to be the garage. This is going to be the garage two. This will be the barracks. This is going to be the office. This here will be the motor pool. This here will be the gate. Let me scroll up a little bit. This will be the guard shack. That's it. That's pretty good. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to file at the top. And then we're going to go to save as and save as a JPEG. We're going to name this screenshot or picture base. So something simple. And then we're going to locate our mission folder. For me, it's going to be here. I go down to Livonia and then scroll down to where we see Intel picture. And then we're going to save the picture in our mission folder. So we just hit save. And now in our mission folder, we have a screenshot or a picture of the base that we were going to infiltrate. All right, so now that we have that, we need to go back into the mission and update the code in the laptop. Back on our mission, let's go back to the player location and let's go to the laptop. Let's edit the laptop and in between the quotes where it says image name JPEG, you're going to put the name of your screenshot. So you're going to put for us, it's going to be base. And make sure it says your screenshot name plus JPEG in between the quotes. And that's it. Now for the Intel name, we're just going to put something like base infill creation that's just to give you an idea so just hit ok we'll save our scenario and uh, let's test it out all right so as you can see I squat down a little bit here you can see that our screenshot has now showed up on the laptop that's pretty cool and then now you have this hold enter to examine so let's actually examine this Alright, so here's the screenshot that we took. Here's the overview or overlay picture. So we have radar station, the generators, the garage, the gate, the motor pool, barracks, office, garage, everything that we set up. So you could use this in your mission. Go to where it says read here on the bottom right. Click on that. You can see where it says base infiltration and that's what that's for. You could probably put this on a TV screen or some other options in the game. You could probably put it on a tablet or a, a monitor screen, something like that. And that's it. All right, guys, if you find this useful for more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.